Good morning. Thank you for joining us at Sunday School. Are you ready to sing? Are you ready, Gemma? This song is called, This is the Day that the Lord has made. Okay, you ready to sing? This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is Wow, that is one of my favorites. Thank you, Miss Carolyn, for sharing with us. You know, I've been wondering a lot lately about being perfect. What is perfection? Who is the only one that is totally perfect? And hmm, what is righteousness? For the answers to those questions, let's read Romans 3, 23 through 24. Righteousness from God comes through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. There is no difference, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. Hmm, okay, that says all have sinned. Everyone, what is sin? Well, sin is when we do something wrong. But what happens to us when we commit sins or do something wrong? Um, you might get in trouble with your parents or your grandparents or with a teacher. But what about God? When we sin, we're not really being the best that we can be. We're falling short of the glory of God. Now, Gemma and I are going to do an experiment that illustrates how sin can separate us from God. I have three blown up balloons here, and the balloons represent our connection with God. And as you can see, I have a candle. And the candle represents our sin. So, Gemma, can you name a little mistake, a sin? Well, what about a lie? Okay, so the candle is our lie. And the balloon is our connection to God. Let's see what happens when they try to come together. Are you ready, Gemma? Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> well, what about another sin, Gemma? I know another one. Cheating. Oh, cheating. That's kind of an easy one, isn't it? All right. Let's see what happens to our connection with God if we cheat. Are you ready? This is God. What does our connection do? It breaks! Oh my goodness! Okay, well, I need one more sin for my illustration. How about not obeying our parents? Now, hmm, that seems like something that probably most of us have done or do. Maybe they ask you to do something and you just don't do it. Let me relight. Okay, are you ready? Let's see. One more balloon. Let's see if it goes pop. Whoops. <laughs> uh, there it goes. Wow, all of our balloons have popped. Gemma, can you fix any one of these balloons? No, Look Ms. at them. They're broken. No, Miss Jenny, they're broken and they can't be put back together. That's true. Now, does that mean that our connection to God 
is damaged by our sin beyond repair? Like it just fell apart, like the balloons? Hmm, why don't we just not sin anymore? Is that possible? No, Miss Jenny. Kids, remember what we read in our scriptures in Romans? It says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Okay, hmm, that looks like we're just like the popped balloons. We can't be with God because we're not perfect. We're broken. But I have good news, and his name is Jesus. Along came Jesus, and along came salvation. Gemma, please read John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So, whoever believes in Jesus shall not perish, but will have eternal life. And eternal life is salvation, kids. Jesus died so all of our sins could be forgiven, and so we can be with God. I have one more balloon here. And this one represents another person with a connection to God. This time though, this person has accepted Jesus. You know, salvation is free to all of us. It's worth more than all the gold in the entire world, but it doesn't cost a penny. So this balloon has accepted Jesus. And when we put it on the flame, what's going to happen? Ah! Wow, let's see. It didn't pop, it didn't break. Oh my goodness. Wow, Miss Jenny, does this mean that if you believe in Jesus, you are no longer destroyed by sin? <gasps> yes, Gemma and kids. You know, we're all broken sinners, just like the broken balloons. But if you accept Jesus as your savior and recognize your sin, try to make sure you don't do it again and ask for forgiveness, your past and future sins are forgiven and Jesus will repair your connection to God. This is the greatest news ever. That's right, Gemma and kids. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we're all broken and sinners, but we're grateful for your forgiveness and love. Through you, we have salvation. Forgive us, Lord, for our sins. Help us to be the best that we can be. Amen. Wow, kids. Let's go see what Perky Pinky is up to and get to the crafty kitchen. See you. There's our perky pinky. He's swimming around with his friends. He's lucky to have so many friends in his tank. Pinky. There he goes. Did I tell you that he's a betta fish? Just like crafty Casper. Well, he does have one friend. I don't know if you've seen him before, but it's his little snail buddy. There he is. Everybody should have a snail buddy. Oh, Pinky's come up to the glass to say hello. He loves you guys. Okay. We have to get to the Crafty Kitchen, Pinky. We'll see you next Sunday. Bye. Here we are in the Crafty Kitchen, my favorite place to be. I love coming here and showing you all kinds of fun things. And today, we're going to make an interesting bird feeder using an ice cream cone or, or maybe both. 
an empty toilet paper roll. Ah, oh, who knew? All right, so this is what you're going to need. Yes, look who's here with us. Gemma, she couldn't stay away because you know how ants are with bird seed. <laughs> they like it actually, right Gemma? <laughs> okay, so you're going to need for the ice cream cone, you'll need something to hang it with. So I suggest a pipe cleaner. And you're also going to need the cone. And what you're going to have to do with the cone is cut off the bottom so that you can get your pipe cleaner up through there. Can you see my eye? Okay. Then you'll also need an empty toilet paper roll. You're going to need some yarn or um, string or something to hang up the toilet paper roll. Um, you're going to need some creamy peanut butter, not the crunchy kind, the creamy kind. You need some bird seed, which you can get very easily at the store, even in a small bag. And if you don't have bird seed, you could use Cheerios, the plain kind. You can stick some raisins on it or cranberries or blueberries. There are all kinds of fun things that you can do with a bird feeder. So let's take our ice cream cone. Now, you have to be gentle with this. And by the way, this is kind of making me want to have some ice cream. So maybe if we can get this done in a hurry, I can get over to Doc's and get some ice cream. Uh, <laughs> you'll need a knife, so maybe a parent can help you with this. And you're going to cut off the very end of the, the cone, the pointy end, so that you have a hole, okay? And you have to be careful not to squish it and break it. And you're gonna need scissors to cut your string to hang up your toilet paper roll. So let's work first with our um, ice cream cone. So we're gonna take some peanut butter the creamy kind. Oh, wait, first, let's put our hanger up there first. So you're just gonna stick it from the bottom. Okay, see how he went up? And you're gonna make like a little knot at the end of your pine of your um, pipe cleaner so that it will hang. And then you're going to make like a little loop to hang it on your branch. Okay, so we have that on first, and then you take your peanut butter. You don't have to have a whole lot because the bird seed will stick even with a little, and I'm just leaving room at the top for my hand, which won't have any bird seed or peanut butter, but that's okay. So we'll just keep going putting on our nice creamy peanut butter. This is so easy. Why didn't I think of this before? Okay, and remember that your ice cream cone is a little like a cookie. It's just kind of fragile. So now we're gonna take our bird seed, which I have mine in a big pan, and we're gonna take it and we're just gonna roll it. How easy is that? Remember to be gentle because it can break. Okay, so I have a little bit of peanut butter showing. I think what I'll do is stick in some Cheerios in those spots. I think the birds love Cheerios. There, this, this bird seed has some sunflower seeds and some other things. And now it has Cheerios. There we go, that's that one. Now, let's see what we can do with our toilet paper roll. So first you're going to cut a string or twine or whatever you have. I'm using yarn with mine. And I wanna get that on first so it's not so gooey on my hands. And then you just put it through 
and you tie a little knot at the end so you'll be able to hang it like that. And then we're going to take some peanut butter and put it on this toilet paper roll. Sounds kind of gross, doesn't it? <laughs> but it does the trick. You can be so inventive with things at home that you already have. So I'm just leaving like a strip so I can hold on to this without a mess on my fingers, which I know Gemma would like, wouldn't you, Gemma? Because you ants love to clean up messes. Okay, so you've got your peanut butter on it. And now again, we're just going to roll it in the bird seed. And on this one, I'm gonna stick on ah, some Cheerios too. You might wanna press those down a little bit. So my birdies have some good breakfast. There we go. There is your other bird feeder. Wasn't that quick and easy? I love that. These are going out in my backyard and I'm going to hang them on a branch and I'm going to make sure it's next to another branch so that the bird can sit on one branch and eat off of the, the cone or the little toilet paper roll feeder. And I hope that you enjoyed this easy, fun craft. And I hope you enjoyed our lesson today. And remember our one scripture. This one is probably one of the most famous scripture verses there is. It's John 3, 16. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Wow. We can stay connected to God even though we're broken and we sin, we can stay connected to God through his son, Jesus. Isn't that amazing? I, for one, I am so thankful and so grateful. I love you, boys and girls. I want you to stay safe, okay? And we'll be together soon before you know it. I just know it. God bless you. Mwah! Take care. This song is called, This is the Day that the Lord Has Made. Okay, you ready to sing? This is the day.